7.30 a.m. heading into Atlanta. There are a lot more cars out here than usual. Of course, it's Atlanta, so I'm going 70 miles an hour and I'm still getting past, like I'm standing still. Well, let's have a good morning. I'm gonna go get this uh, loaded about 20 miles away from the drop and then um, start looking for more loads. And hopefully I'll get something either going back by the house or something paying good back to Florida. All right, guys, God bless. She's even closer than that too. The lady, uh, lady driver, getting a little bit close to the truck. Might have to get close to the horn in case we. Uh... Come on! <laughs> I'm glad you got a manual too. That shows something. Good job. <laughs> jump in this lady's truck because she was uh, scraping my mirror. So I'm moving her trailer over for her. Man, her brakes are uh, not as tight as mine. <laughs> but uh, nice lady. She's got a manual too. scraping my mirror back and forth. So I'm getting her truck away from my truck. She got way too close. So now I'm inching her trailer slowly back over to the other side. Slowly but surely. <laughs> you think that's enough for you? I don't know where your door's at. I didn't see it to begin with. Just a little bit over, okay. Got like another foot to go. That's how close she was to me. Uh, that should be good to give her. You never know what you're gonna get out here. <laughs> but when it's your truck, you'd rather jump out and get in somebody else's then have them hit yours. Reminds me of CDL school, because all the trucks are a little, the, the Volvos are all the same, but I like the, the cab. Reminds me of CDL school. Yeah, it's good. Most of these guys, I went, a lot of guys I went to school with, nope, they couldn't couldn't get it done. How long have you been driving? I went to, um, I went to technical school. Yeah, me too. Co technical college. They were all made. They were all, uh, where'd you go to school at? The store uh, I went to Greenville, South Carolina. But how long have you been driving? Three years. Three years? Nice, no, two years. <laughs> Fun morning, but uh, park my truck right there. It's back far enough so I can get out for the trucks that are over there in front of me. Milan dude pulled up way too far where I'm gonna have to back out if I want to get out of here. But uh, never been to this truck stop. I don't even know what it's called because there's no big sign, but it has a TA truck service way back there. It's in Fairburn, Georgia. So <coughs> you know where I'm at. Uh, you been here? Not that bad. Uh, pay for parking everywhere, but there is a McDonald's right over there. It's almost 12 noon. Um, you can see I had to do a little work for that lady today. She was hitting my mirror pretty bad. <laughs> so I uh, 
parked it up for her. I'm not saying anything bad about women. I think women are great out here driving. Um, she just didn't have the confidence in her ability to, to not hit my truck anymore, so I did it for her. But uh, it's pretty cool she drives a manual. My school was all manuals also, Greenville Technical College. Um, so that was cool. But the loads, there's nothing out there. You'll, you see that little uh, screenshot video I put up of uh, the text messages. That was a county load. Um, said they'll do it for 300 and then came back and said they'll do it for 250. Like, come on. So it's getting bad out here. Loads are disappearing. Um, everything, even Florida, is like $600 into Orlando. That's not even good for, like, your fuel. Your fuel is going to be $300. So I'm going to get some McDonald's, uh, see what else happens today. And hopefully I can get my truck out of there without backing up because that's going to suck. But yeah, this is where I'm at. If anybody's ever been here, come to you later. That all is lost. Gonna afford ice cream again. Uh, the wife just informed me that the uh, stimulus check went through for us for our kids, 500 kids and 1,200 a couple. Uh, even though she didn't work, I didn't know if she would uh, get it or not. She's a stay-at-home mom. But since we filed our taxes together under the LLC, uh, we got one for her too. So that was nice. Um, that came through the bank account today in the business account. And uh, it's one o'clock now, and there are loads disappearing at $170 for 80 miles. Like, come on, man. Whoever's taking these loads, we'll do whatever. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of trucks out here wait, waiting for work, but you still can't work for, for nothing, man. You can't work for fuel. So I'm going to hang out at my good old QT, get my ice cream. And if I don't get nothing, I'm going to be home tomorrow morning for my kids. God bless. Finally got something. Uh, custom building products. Uh, let's take this turn. It looks like it's the one. 2155 Industrial Parkway. Uh, it looks tight. Uh, Coyote finally popped something up. Um, everything out here was just horrible. So, got this one. And uh, I got a truck pulling in behind me. So, I got to get out of the way a little bit. But um, 600 bucks going to Mooresville, which is North Charlotte. It's uh, NASCAR country again. I'll take whatever though, because it delivers at seven in the morning and it gets me home tonight. So God bless guys. Uh, let's just pray for the best out here because this is ridiculous. After this load, I'll be sitting at home unless something good comes. I wonder sometimes when they're building these places, like if they were built back in the day when 48 foot trailers were the thing, but zero room right here. A bunch of people hit this pole. I moved my truck out so that white truck could get in next to me because I got in first. So I just bobtailed it over there, but uh, luckily we got a load. Um, Coyote popped one up. I put an offer for 700. They countered right away with 600, and I said sold. I'll take it. Gets me home tonight. Take a shower. See the wife. Um, I can't see the babies in the morning because I guess it's delivered seven. But at least I'm right by the house. If I don't have anything bad in Charlotte, which I don't think I will tomorrow, then I will just uh, dead head back home the, uh, the 120 miles and park the truck because. Uh, Getting bad, but a uh, cool thing my uh, truck is financed to a company called CH Brown. If you look them up, they're out of Wyoming. Uh, nice company, uh, one of the only companies that would really finance a new authority. Um, there's a couple of them, but they they went, went with me with 30% uh, down to start on a truck. So I bought my truck for 33,000, sold my personal uh, crew cab Tundra that I had. Nice truck, it was a 08 four wheel drive white one. Um, sold that, I owned it outright and used that money. I sold it for 15.5. I used it nine of that nine thousand of that to put on my truck and then the rest of the money kind of helped me with the other money i had on hand to get my authority started long story short anyways that company ch brown uh, also helped me buy my trailer they, they contacted me last year and said hey do you want to buy anything else i said yeah i'd like to buy my trailer because i was renting my trailer if you look back at my pre previous videos um i was renting a trailer from tnt rents out of uh missouri nice company that they uh, couldn't have done it without them so they most people won't rent to new authorities but they did so um that's a little backdrop on how I got my truck and my trailer. But the, so they financed them both. And they called me last month and said, hey, um, are you going to be okay with, with all this? Or do you want to um, defer your payments? I said, no, I think I'm okay. Because back last month, I was still making pretty good money. But as of this week and the end of last week, I just said, hey, let's defer them. So I'll be spending an extra $360 bucks, um, a month that I'll add on to my loan for the end of the loan. So my truck payment's about 11 and change, like 11 13 I think it is and my truck my trailer is like a uh, 550 on the dot so instead of 16 what is that 1660 1670 to say um, a month I'll be paying uh, 360 so helps a little bit because who knows if it's gonna come back or what's gonna happen but uh, 
Sorry to rant on, but that was nice of them to call out. We got this load for 600 going to Mooresville, NASCAR country. He's loading me right now. And I moved my truck because there's no way that guy was going to get in there without me moving my truck. Uh, so I got in there first. I had a little more room than he did. But uh, well, we're in uh, right by Six Flags uh, in Fulton County area, kind of up um, out 20 towards Alabama. So that's where I'm picking up. We'll get home 170 miles to home tonight. And then. Uh, see if there's anything in, in North Carolina tomorrow, but I don't know if there will be. But yeah, the uh, piece of stimulus money hit today. Still got some good reserves of money going down um, in the bank account, so hopefully this doesn't last forever. There's still loads out here, but it's not worth the time and, and beating up your truck. That's the thing I tell everybody. Make it so it's worth your truck. And, and the way the offers I was getting today, like that earlier $250 after they offered $300, and then everything on the board was like under 600 or 700 to go to Florida, uh, 900 or 1,000 to go to Miami. Like, come on, it's horrible. So God bless, guys, and uh, let's get through this, get this over with. We're hearing reports all over the place that <clears throat> China, I don't know how you feel politically. I'm not really big into everything about polit politics, but um, it seems like China has something out for us because uh, all these coronaviruses and SARS and all that stuff have been starting over there, so I don't know. I don't know what your take is on it, but... Um, definitely not cool for China if they did it if they didn't and it's just a random thing that came out of a fish market when they said it comes from bats I don't know but either way God bless let's get this country going again let's go get on vacations and hanging out with our kids and fishing and hunting and loving every day all right see you tomorrow